Hey guys, what is up? This is Almond Genius here, and I'm going to be showing you a quick little video on 3G speeds versus 4G speeds. This particular phone here I'm using is Sony Xperia Z2, and it'll be running on AT&T towers, just as the test. I'm just showing you this difference for a speed test. Here you can see it's on LTE in the top. It says 4G, and it only has one bar, but you'll see in the results that it still does all right. Um, this is just to show the difference if you are not in an area with good 4G coverage or none at all or a phone that doesn't quite have the capabilities so you can see the difference. Alright, so first speed test with the LTE 4G on. Looks like it's getting 10 megs of download. Alright, sometimes it hangs up a little bit at the end of the download test for some reason, but 10.22 on the download is what it seems to get, and there we go, the upload is starting. Look at that, <laughs> upload's almost matching download, that's a little odd. Alright, looking like 7, 7.7, see what it gets in a second. Alright, 7.87 is what it got and the ping was 97 milliseconds. So we're going to do another test just for good measure. See if we can get a little higher download for you guys. There we go. And a little better LTE speed showcase right here. This is at my home in the suburbs. Not, nowhere special. Look, it's only got a couple bars of signal and it's pulling 25 megs for download. That's pretty good. Alright, 25.88 on the download and the upload. Let's see what we can get. Looks to be around the same as last time, maybe a tad bit higher. 8.29. Alright, 8.18. And you see those two tests again. There you go. Top one's Wi Fi, don't mind that. Alright, now for the 3G or 3.5G, whatever you want to call it, speed test. Uh, it's this particular one will be running on HSPA Plus, which is considered, you know, it's 3G. And if I can zoom in on top real quick for you guys, I'll show you. In the actual settings, network mode, let's switch it to the WCDMA and that'll give us the 3G HSPA Plus this camera's not really focusing in on it but if you google WCDMA that's you'll see what I mean anyway here's the speed test, we'll see what we can get with this Oh, also guys sorry about the background change, I did record these in two separate times of the day so just one at night and one in the morning. I didn't have time to completely finish it, so that's what the background change is for. It's still at the same location at my house, and you can see the signal is about the same, so that's for the little difference in lighting. Alright, so on the download, we got 7.93, it looks like, and the upload starting right now to so get. Alright, on the upload it's 1.11. We'll do this test again just like we did the first one. Alright, as you can notice the ping's a little bit slower. It's 190 milliseconds compared to 100 on the LTE tests. So the ping's a little worse. Download 6.997. So it looks like it's finishing up at 7, 7 megs in the download. And the upload starting now. Looks like it's holding steady 1.13. Yep, that's what it finished at. So the difference between, and there you go. 
difference between all four. Don't mind the top one again being the Wi-Fi, but 10 megs in the download, 25 megs in the download, both for LTE, and 7 megs for the HSPA Plus 3G. And the upload also has a huge difference when you're talking about 7 or 8 megs versus 1. So you can see the differences on the same phone, on the same AT&T provider, in the same location, what the differences will be if you have an LTE cable phone or an only an HSPA cable phone and or if you're just in an area that doesn't quite have those but uh thanks for watching this is i'm a genius